Hello, and welcome to Fun With Cheese, day 12. We're at a dozen. That's pretty cool. Uh, today's episode, we are giving a shout out to uh, Gerke Hoof Care uh, out of Arpen, Wisconsin. The uh, finest bovine pedicurist in the land, uh, practitioner of bovine nails, and uh, a healthcare professional in the dairy industry because if we keep good feet under our cows, they're going to last a long time. Second shout out I'm going to th throw out today is to uh, my fellow Aggies out there. Um, teaching in this new format is uh, something always very challenging. I'm not the best at sending out my um, different lessons we do in class, but I hope that this will be a tool for you guys to come back to and use um, with whatever dairy animal science, food science class that you have, and I enjoy looking up the fun little facts we find, but um, today's episode is going to take us to Plymouth, Wisconsin. Plymouth, Wisconsin is home to Leonard Gentine, who in 1953 had a request. Christmas time, they were looking for some Christmas boxes. And with those Christmas boxes, he was, they were looking for small blocks of cheese to put in there and sliced cheese and things like that. And upon researching, he couldn't find a single cheese factory or supplier that would give them one pound blocks of cheese like this to put into um, gift boxes. So Gentine said, this is an opportunity. I'm gonna take advantage of this. So he filled the first 20 um, by slicing these blocks down, repackaging the cheese and things. And then uh, the orders started to flow, like to the tune of 5,000. 5,000 orders for Christmas boxes and things like that, individually packaged blocks of cheese. Just a pound, not a 40 pound block, not a 500 pound block, not a big 70 pound wheel that we've seen uh, with Swiss and uh, Gouda and things like that. Um, but he needed some help. And so Leonard Gentine got together with his friend Joe Sartori. You might have heard that name before. And together the two founded Sar Gent, and they needed a little Italian twist, so they put an O at the end. So Joe Sartori, the Sar, Leonard Gentine, the Gent, founded Sargento, and they founded the process of mass producing and knocking out small blocks of cheese and then vacuum packaging so that way everything was small and had a long shelf life. Um, fun fact, and you'll find it today, Sargento went on to look at and Gentine went to look at the grocery stores because if you're going to get any cheese at the grocery store, you would go back to the deli and have them cut off a block of cheese and wrap it in paper and then you take it home. And uh, he got together with the grocery stores and said, you know what, I'm going to provide this service for you. Would you guys put this on the shelves? And lo and behold, they took him up on it. And this is why you find your cooler shelves where they're at today supplying this type of product. So um, that's today's little fun fact. The, the founder, the namesakes of Sargento being Joe Sartori and Leonard Gentine. A few things I forgot about yesterday's episode of uh, I cut the cheese and today I wanted to say that oops I cut it again but uh, number one the cheese knife should be used to cut firm cheeses cheeses that are hard okay we're not going to use a wire on something that's really hard cheese um, like Parmesan we can e even use a, a apple peeler to, to peel off Parmesan it's very hard doesn't work real well with our wires um, Number two, cheese wires have their limits, okay? We can cut cheese with them, and although summer sausage may seem like it's a softer product, cheese wires will not cut summer sausage. About 30 years ago, I realized that my mother did have wrath, and uh, she uh, saw that the wire on the cheese slicer was broken, asked me what happened, and I couldn't find a knife so I decided to use the cheese wire to slice summer sausage. Big mistake on my part. And so I also found out that day that you can buy replacement wires from uh, the, the Dairy State had them so I ended up having to get one at Dairy State and learn that you just pull this out and pull this apart, pull this out and the thing sits there in tension and we replaced it. But don't cut summer sausage with the cheese wire. Number three, 
This goes out to you, Jonathan, in Colorado. Why this thing and why I need to have this thing. This isn't for my personal kitchen. This is for uh, at school. But this, yesterday we made cubes. This is a cheese wire. This will cut it into 3 8 inch slices. So we're gonna, I'm gonna wow you again with this. So we're gonna cut this once. So now I have a 3 8 inch slice. This one's for the cheese gods. And then I take it and I bring it over. And this is what Jen Teen would really like. I bring it over in between. Second cut. And now I have cheese tray sliced pieces that I can use. And that's why I need the cheese cuber. For you Aggies out there, you guys know in 15 minutes that you get for prepping for a class, I got to do eight of these different blocks and it would be insane to use this guy or crust of cheese with something like this. So now you all know. But in the case of our big challenges, uh, this shout out goes to Tim Schmidt, who two years ago, uh, we were cutting a 40 pound block of Kojak from Maple Grove in class. And he said, wow, that thing is so big, we gotta give it a name. So they named it Timmy Birch. And uh, he is a nickname Timmy, uh, but he is a Dexter Russell 14 inch, cheese knife double handle and so when we're cutting a wheel of cheese we need something that has a razor sharp edge two handles of be able to rock and roll this thing through a block of cheese or in a 40 pound block you have one person pulling on each side pulling down but this is how you get our big wedges cut and so we'll go along like this and cut these big wheels of hard cheese with this so cheese knife big cheese for hard cheeses cheese wire cutting softer cheeses not this one but one like this used for cutting softer cheeses and not for cutting summer sausage cheese cuber or cheese slicer gets you mass produced cheese slices for class or parties hoof care dairy pedicurist last shout out to all my Aggies out there hopefully you're doing well stay innovative stay cool and have fun See you tomorrow for day 13.